Go to Raw? I think I will. We got the next chapter of 2K19 in my career where the beast goes to Monday Night Raw. Or Buzz, or whatever you want to call it. There he is, Raw's newest superstar. I was impressed with what you were able to accomplish on SmackDown in such a short amount of time. Kind of reminds me of, well, me. Thanks, Kurt. I hope there are no hard feelings that I didn't initially sign with you. None whatsoever. We're just lucky to have you here on Raw now. So what's your plan tonight? Going to sit back and get a feel for things? Uh, I didn't get here by sitting back and waiting for something to happen. No, I guess not. You'll be seeing me out there sooner than you think. And in a very big way. Ooh, let's see what that means. That should be good. Miss TV. We are gathered here tonight for a very special occasion. To celebrate a milestone that only the most successful television programs reach. You That's suck. It. This is the 100th episode of Ms. TV. When my hand goes up, your mouth goes shut. Show some respect for the moment in history you are witnessing. Do you know the kind of blood, sweat, and tears that go into making a production like this week in and week out? No, you don't. Because you've never made one episode of anything, let alone 100. Now, in honor of this achievement, I put together a special documentary recapping the series' greatest moments that I'd like all of you to watch for the next 10 minutes. Please. Turn off your cellular devices and enjoy the show. No one cares. Hey, the beast. Apparently, this is what Buzz meant when he talked about making a big debut on Raw. This is unbelievable. I knew it was something. To the Intercontinental Champion. But from what we've seen in the past from Buzz, I'm really not surprised. Hey, maybe you want to congratulate the man on making it to 100 episodes. I doubt it. Sure, I'll, I'll cut a promo. What the hell do you think you're doing interrupting my 100th episode celebration? I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm saving these people from having to endure any more boredom. Instead, I'd like to give them something actually worth watching. Me beating you for the Intercontinental title. And unlike that terrible highlight video, I guarantee that won't take anywhere near 10 minutes. Oof. Are you insane? Or maybe you've just been inhaling so many fumes from your piece of trash van that you think you can interrupt oh, my celebration shit. and get a shot at my intercontinental title. What's the matter? You're scared I'll beat you so bad that Miss TV will be canceled before it makes it to episode 101? You know what? I think we got off on the wrong foot. He just got to Raw, and we haven't been properly introduced. I'm Miz, obviously. This is my beautiful wife, Maurice. And then there's the Miz to Raj, Curtis and Bo. BT. Why don't you introduce yourselves to the new guy? Oh, you said that before. No. He deserves it for interrupting this historic I should have hit attack. Welcome to another edition of TV's oh, Weekly Episodic Television.
Week two of the beast. Hello, I am Elias. I've got one question for everyone here tonight. Who wants to walk with Elias? Now, last week we had a newcomer arrive on the scene and challenge the Miz. He quickly learned that in WWE, if you mess with the bull, you get the horns. When I say WWE, I am referring to the WWE that stands for Walk with Elias. We got a new guy here named Buzz, who got beat down by the Miz. If you ask me, it's only a matter of time before he's out of the Miz. He drives around in an old crappy van like a homeless man. He reminds Elias a lot of all you dirt poor fans. I knew he was going to come out again. As far as anyone is. Okay, I think I speak for everyone here when I say we've heard it just about enough. I'm out here, why would I call the Miz? Challenge you. You know when sometimes you hear a singer at a concert and their voice just isn't quite the same? I mean, that's not the case with you, Elias. You sound just as terrible in person as you do on TV. I mean, I just realized, I don't think WWE stands for Walk with Elias. No, I think it actually stands for We Want Earplugs. Oof. Talk a good game. Roasted. But can you back it up? <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, I can. And since apparently the Miz is too much of a coward to face me, how about you and I go one on one right here tonight? Buzz must really want to get beat up two weeks in a row. Yeah. I don't know about that, but we're going to have Buzz versus Elias right now. That's good. Change that channel. We have singles action coming up. We I knew it was a good talents against an imposing so adversary. We're going to settle the score. We got the Beats versus Elias. No shot Elias can beat this man. I spoke to Buzz today and he told me no matter how much success he has, he still gets nervous to compete in front of this many people. Coming from BCW, he should be used to big crowds. I heard that one event almost drew more fans than a JV girls volleyball playoff match. Boo, you suck.
How about I smash the guitar over your head, bro? You deserve it, man. If I got it, right, man. No mic here. Signature. What did you just put on the turnbuckle? Basically, two on one. So I'm really gonna think who's cheating here.
pauses here on Raw to continue his quest for the Miz's Intercontinental Championship. Well, those Sasha matches went by. I've seen her the most. Alright, so that's going to be it for this episode. And I'll see you guys in the next one.